What if I told you Australia is building one of the most powerful clean energy projects on Earth, hidden deep inside a mountain range? Far from the big cities in the heart of the snowy mountains in New South Wales, a $12 billion mega project called Snowy Hydro 2.0 is taking shape. It's not just another dam or power station. This is a massive underground system designed to store renewable energy and generate electricity using the power of water and gravity. When finished, it will help power up to 3 million homes, making it one of the largest renewable energy storage projects in the world. To understand why Snowy Hydro 2.0 is such a big deal, we have to go back to the original Snowy Mountains Hydro Scheme, one of Australia's greatest engineering achievements. Built between 1949 and 1974, it involved over 100,000 workers from 30 different countries, carving 145 kilometers of tunnels, building 16 dams, and creating nine power stations across the mountains. It didn't just generate electricity. This project helped fuel Australia's post-war industrial growth and irrigated millions of hectares of farmland. Today, it still supplies around 30% of Australia's renewable energy. But times have changed. Australia is facing a new energy crisis. Coal power plants are shutting down, cities are expanding, and renewable sources like solar and wind are producing more power than ever yet they only work when the sun shines or the wind blows. This creates a major problem. How do you store and supply clean energy 24 seven? That's where Snowy Hydro 2.0 comes in. Announced in 2017 by the Australian government and Snowy Hydro Limited, this project aims to transform the old snowy scheme into a modern energy storage powerhouse capable of stabilizing the nation's future electricity grid. Located in the Kosciusko National Park, about 450 kilometers southwest of Sydney, Snowy Hydro 2.0 plans to connect two existing dams, Tantangara and Talbingo, using a network of massive underground tunnels and pumped hydro technology. It's like turning an entire mountain into a giant rechargeable battery. The project covers 170,000 acres of rugged terrain and is expected to eventually provide up to 2,200 megawatts of power on demand enough to keep millions of homes running during peak hours or power outages. Snowy Hydro 2.0 is located in one of the most rugged and remote regions of Australia, the Snowy Mountains in New South Wales, inside the Kosciusko National Park, the highest mountain range on the continent. Beneath these peaceful alpine landscapes, engineers are constructing a massive underground energy system that most people will never even see. Instead of building giant dams above ground, Snowy Hydro 2.0 is being built deep inside solid granite rock, hundreds of meters below the surface. So, what exactly is it? Snowy Hydro 2.0 is a pumped storage hydroelectric power station, essentially a giant water-powered battery. It works by connecting two major reservoirs, Tantangara Dam, which acts as the upper storage, and Talbingo Dam, which lies roughly 700 to 800 meters below as the lower reservoir. These two reservoirs will be linked by 27 kilometers of underground tunnels large enough to fit a double-decker bus inside. When there's extra energy in the grid, like on bright sunny days when solar farms produce more electricity than needed, Snowy Hydro 2.0 will use that surplus power to pump water uphill from Talbingo to Tantangara. Later, when electricity demand spikes, during heat waves, nighttime, or when wind and solar drop, the stored water is released back downhill through gigantic turbines to generate electricity. This unique location was chosen because of its huge elevation difference, existing dam infrastructure, and stable mountain geology, making it the perfect place to hide one of the most powerful renewable energy systems in the world. Snowy Hydro 2.0 is often called a giant water battery, and that's exactly how it works. At its core, the system uses pumped storage hydroelectric technology, one of the most reliable ways to store renewable energy on a massive scale. When Australia generates excess electricity from solar panels and wind farms, instead of wasting it, this energy is used to pump water uphill from the lower reservoir, Talbingo Dam, to the upper reservoir, Tantangara Dam. This process stores energy in the form of potential energy. The water is now elevated and ready to generate power when needed. Later, during times of high electricity demand, like evenings, heat waves, or when solar and wind power drop, 
that water is released back downhill. As it flows, it rushes through huge underground tunnels and spins six massive reversible pump turbines, each capable of generating about 333 megawatts of power. Together, they can produce up to 2,000 to 2,200 megawatts, which is enough electricity to power 3 million homes at peak times. What makes these turbines special is that they work both ways. They can pump water up and generate power down, depending on what's needed. All of this happens underground, inside a massive power station carved into solid rock, big enough to fit a 20-story building. The entire system will be monitored and controlled by advanced automation and digital grid technology, allowing it to respond within minutes to sudden changes in electricity demand. Even more impressive, Snowy Hydro 2.0 can store over 350,000 megawatt hours of energy. That's enough to keep the whole country running for days during an outage or blackouts. In a world increasingly dependent on renewable energy, this project is designed to act as the backup battery for Australia, making sure the lights stay on even when the sun isn't shining and the wind isn't blowing. Building Snowy Hydro 2.0 is not just expensive. It's one of the most challenging engineering projects ever attempted in Australia. Most of the construction is taking place hundreds of meters underground, under layers of granite and mountainous terrain inside Kosciusko National Park. Engineers are carving out 27 kilometers of tunnels to connect the two reservoirs, along with a giant underground power station cavern that could fit a 20-story skyscraper inside it. To dig these tunnels, Australia is using some of the world's biggest tunnel boring machines, TBMS. The most famous one is nicknamed Florence, after pioneering Australian engineer Florence McKenzie. This machine is over 200 meters long, weighs more than 2,000 tons, and can cut through rock 24 hours a day. But even with all this advanced machinery, workers have faced serious challenges. Sections of soft, unstable rock, unexpected groundwater pressure, and massive water inflows have slowed down progress and damaged equipment. Another challenge is the environment. Since the entire project is inside a protected national park, strict rules must be followed to protect native wildlife, river systems, and forest areas. Engineers must carefully manage blasting operations, waste rock disposal, and underground water flow to avoid long-term ecological damage. Even small mistakes could affect rivers like the Snowy River and Tumut River, which are crucial for both wildlife and agriculture. On top of this, the underground construction environment is dangerous. Workers deal with limited ventilation, high-pressure water zones, and the constant risk of tunnel collapses. Emergency escape tunnels, Ventilation shafts and high-tech monitoring systems are being used to protect worker safety. All of these challenges, along with supply chain delays and rising material prices, have contributed to the project's timeline being pushed back and its costs surging past $12 billion. Despite this, progress continues, and each completed tunnel brings Australia one step closer to a more secure, clean energy future. When Snowy Hydro 2.0 was first announced in 2017, the estimated cost was around $5 to $6 billion. But as construction progressed, the price tag has more than doubled to over $12 billion, making it one of the most expensive renewable energy projects in Australian history. So why is it costing so much? There are several reasons. First, the engineering required to carve out 27 kilometers of tunnels deep underground build a massive power station inside a mountain, and connect two dams separated by hundreds of meters of elevation is extremely complex and risky. Unexpected geological problems, like unstable rock zones and water pressure leaks, forced engineers to slow down and redesign parts of the project, which means more time and more money. Second, global factors like inflation, supply chain disruptions, fuel price increases, and shortages of skilled labor have pushed construction costs higher. Heavy machinery, steel, concrete, and tunneling equipment have all become more expensive since the project began. Add to that the strict environmental requirements of working inside a national park, ensuring minimal ecological impact, which further increases costs. So where is the money coming from? Snowy Hydro 2.0 is funded primarily by Snowy Hydro Limited, a government-owned corporation. In 2018, the Australian federal government bought out the shares owned by New South Wales and Victoria, 
making it the sole owner.